tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Facebook like menu bar. As you can see, my Facebook menu bar has a color of blue. It's got a company logo and a custom main men menu, as you can see. It's got a nice animation. It's a bit laggy, but as you can see. As you and when I scroll, the menu bar always stays at, at the top. What happens if I want it down at the bottom? Well, let's change on over to where it says top. And see where it says top here? You change that to bottom. Click on the Facebook like menu bar, refresh, and look at that. Your menu bar is now at the bottom of the page. And if I still scroll, it st still stays in the middle, and the menu bar still stays at the bottom. Now you must be thinking, how did you get it to stay down at the bottom or up at the top? It's easy. Let me explain. Let me just change the bottom to top. Let's scroll down. As you can see, I've got my first div. It has an identification of top. On the right, on the second line, I've got div identification equals menu. Then I've got div id equals logo. I've got it as text here to keep it simple, but you can change it to an image to add if you want to. And that grey box that you saw, and that's your div here. That's where you put your content. And this body element has a CSS rule of a background colour, yellow-green, as you saw before. Okay, let's talk about the top identi identifier top. The width is 100%. This part, this one here, is really important because when you click on here and you want to resize it, it will automatically resize with your browser. Let me put it back up here. The height is 66 pixels. Top, which is set to 0 pixels which makes it go up the top. Or, if you want to go down at the bottom, you change this part here to bottom. Left, zero pixels, which makes it go fully across the screen, that's alongside of it. Position, which is the important part, which makes it fixed. As you may have noticed, when I scroll down, I scroll back up, the menu bar stays up at the top. The background colour is blue, as you can see. The content has a width of 600 pixels, which you can change. The height, has, the height is 1111 pixels. The margin, which makes the div go centre. The background colour is a dark grey. The logo has the colour of white, which is triple F. Font dash size is 20 pixels, which is the size of the font. And f has also has a rule of float left, which makes the div float to the left hand side. And for margin, it has 15 pixels on the top, 0 pixels on the right, 10 pixels south, or 10 pixels on the bottom, and 10 pixels on the left. Padding, 0 pixels, top, 0 pixels, left, 0 pixels, which keeps it exactly on the left hand side of your screen.
That is it for this tutorial. It's simple and easier than people think it is. I used to think about that as well. In my next video tutorial, I'll explain to you on how you can get this great looking menu menu bar or this menu, which you can put into any website you desire. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and this video tutorial will soon be on our new website, which is in currently in beta stage. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and supporting the Robert Hilton Show.